Mario Kart 7. The forgettable step between Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8. Or Infinity at this point. Seriously, this game came out in 2014 and it's still getting more courses. <laughs> Mario Kart 7 though did not last over 9 years. In fact, I feel like it only lasted months. Releasing on the 3DS, it came out and it was... fine? Like it added gliders and underwater driving, which isn't really anything, and that was about it. People went back to the Wii soon after it came out. And Mario Kart Wii really is the melee of Mario Kart, isn't it? Anyways, I decided to take another look at Mario Kart 7, look at all the courses, see all the characters, really get in tune with the driving and mechanics. The best way to do it? An Iron Man. Okay, so an Iron Man challenge means so many different things at this point, like what, uh, what is it? But basically, I'm just gonna try to beat all the courses consecutively, getting first place on all of them. And there's 32 courses. I'm also gonna be playing on 150cc, and if this doesn't sound too hard to you, <laughs> just wait. While getting first in any one race of Mario Kart 7 and 150cc isn't too hard, getting first in 32 races in a row? Even with just CPUs, is extremely difficult because, well, Mario Kart happens. Item after item after item, right before the finish line, or of course, the dreaded blue shell that stops you in your tracks. So basically, there's gonna be a huge luck element to it. But you know what? I wanna make this even more fun. So let's add a completely made up element to it. Introducing... <coughs> Ludwig points. Or Ludwig? I don't know. What are they? Basically style points. While trying to get first in every race consecutively, I need to also gather at least a total of 77 Ludwig points. And how do we earn them? Well, we gotta do something my boy Ludwig would do, I guess. I don't know. Just kind of random challenges. So, things like 7 points for driving in first person for a whole race. 11 points for not using a single item in a race. 11 points for using a bullet bill while in first place. 7 points for each 10 seconds doing nothing after the start of a race. 1 point for hitting Daisy. I, I, I don't like Daisy that much. Okay, now with everything set up and explained, let's start this challenge with attempt 1. For my cart, I don't care, whatever I think looks cool. Seriously, I'm not that much of a tryhard for this game. I won't treat it like Mario Kart Melee. I mean Wii. And then I chose my favorite character for this Mario Kart in Lakitu. Little guy's usually behind the scenes, so I thought he deserved his time in the sun. Then we started with the Mushroom Cup on its first track, Toad Circuit. I decided since we're very early in the run, it doesn't matter if we lose right off the bat, so let's try to grab some early Ludwig points by not using any items. First lap, I ended up in second and barely dodged a blue shell, still hadn't used any items, and I got into first place soon after. Although right before lap 2 ended, I got hit by a red shell and fell back to second. Lap 3, we quickly made it back to first, and I failed the shortcut, got past, but then just barely ended in first. Plus 11 Ludwig points for not using any items, and we move on to the next race in Daisy Hills. Ugh, Daisy. I decided since I'm not great at this course, I'm just gonna play like normal. Sorry Ludwig. We fell off the course pretty early on, and then hit the windmill, so we were only in 5th after the first lap. Second lap I did a bit better, oh wait no, I somehow hit the windmill again. Dude. Had a battle with Queen Bee but passed her, and I didn't hit the windmill this time so we ended up with another first place. Cheap Cheap Lagoon and I wanted to try to get some more Ludwig points, so I decided to wait 10 seconds after the race started. Let's try to win. This was a mistake. Almost done with the first lap, and I was still in eighth. <laughs> Ended up finishing the lap in seventh. I really didn't do well on the second lap either, but still shot up to fourth. I failed the alternate path, but got a golden mushroom and spammed it to try to get the first, but I was just out of reach. And well, we only had 11 Ludwig points and were less than two out of 32 courses complete. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Second attempt, I swapped to Wario this time in his all gold cart and hopped straight back to the first cup. This time, we used items, we didn't wait any time after the race started, but on the very last lap, of course, we got blue shelled and couldn't recover fast enough to get back to first. Now, I was trying my hardest without any handicaps and still got beat on the very first course. This is gonna be hell. We swapped to Wiggler on the third attempt, and I wanted to try starting with the first cup one last time. 
No items, and we crushed it. 11 Ludwig points. I had a plan for Daisy Hills. I was gonna wait 10 seconds and then try to grab a bullet bill to use in first place. How did this plan work out? Well, we abandoned the plan to use a bullet bill in first after not grabbing it for the first few items. And by the end of the second lap, we were in first. I did, however, notice that there was a Daisy in this race. So hey, I mean, let's try to grab some spare Ludwig points while we can. Except I hit the damn windmill and she passed me. But I still had a chance to hit her, and I missed. But someone else hit her, and I got first. Seven more Ludwig points for waiting 10 seconds. Cheap Cheap Lagoon, I tried the same exact strategy. Wait 10 seconds, hope for a bullet bill. We got a star twice in a row, followed by triple shrooms. But even when I thought we didn't have a chance to get a bullet bill, our next item box, we got it. Slowly, we moved up to third with the bullet bill still in our inventory. Then we moved up to second but I felt like I had to use it or I was just gonna straight up lose. So I went for it and it still wasn't enough and I lost. Ah! Okay, we're starting at a different cup. This time with Bowser, we started on the Shell Cup with Luigi's Circuit. I still went for not using any items in the first race, but afterwards I would just try to win and see how many points I'm at towards the end. First race, we crushed, 11 Ludwig points. Next, our home turf, Bowser's Castle. This time with items, I struggled a bit on the first lap, but recovered on the second and third and got first. Mushroom Gorge, I wanted to switch it up and see how well I did on first person. And boy, was this a mistake to choose one of the bounciest courses in first person. I felt like I had no control on the mushroom segments. Even with that though, we were in first on the first lap. Then of course we fell off because I suck at first person. We recovered on the third lap and still won the race. Luigi's Mansion DS next and I wasn't too confident here so I just played normally. I noticed there was a daisy in this race. Hey, one point is one point. We also won the race. And with that also, first cup complete. Next cup, I swapped the Koopa Troopa to take on Koopa Beach for the Banana Cup. I went for the no item strategy, but the temptation the shortcut gave me made me cave in and I had to use my mushrooms. And maybe because of that, we had a pretty easy time ending in first. I was starting to get a bit cocky because next race I said, let's go for first person and play the clip. Oh my god. Okay. Nope. Nope. Played the rest of the race with no items and we were still looking good well into the third lap until I heard like, Dude. Dude. <laughs> then just like that it was Jover. I realized that maybe I could have dodged it with my triple shrooms, but it's too late for that now. My next attempt, I started with the Mushroom Cup with Shy Guy, and this was a hell of a run. Getting lots of Ludwig points by not using items and also first person for the first couple of races. And I already had a total of 32 Ludwig points by the fourth race. I decided not to go for anything fancy on the Shy Guy Bazaar, and it paid off because we were able to finish up the Mushroom Cup for the first time. And we already had almost half of our needed Ludwig points. We swapped the DK for the Flower Cup, and I was feeling a little bit ballsy because I wanted to get rid of needing any Ludwig points as soon as possible. I tried to no item Woohoo Loop, and we got it. 43 points. I kept up the Ludwig challenges by going first person for Mario Circuit. It was a little close on the second lap, but I was starting to get used to the controls. 50 points now, and 6 courses done. Music Park is one of my better courses, so I went for no items, and easily done. 61 points. We're so close and so early on. Rock Rock Mountain was next. I got screwed at the beginning of the race, but slowly made my way up back to first, and we managed to win. And guess what? No items used. So we're at 72 out of 77 points after only finishing two cups. Next is Star Cup, and I saw the courses and got worried because these were some toughies. I swapped to Yoshi and for Piranha Plant Slide, we killed it. We got struck by lightning once, but never used any items we gathered and still won the race, meaning we got enough Ludwig points, baby. More than enough. So no more reason to do any more challenges at this point in the run, and I can just play freely. Wario Shipyard was next, and oh man, I sucked at this course. I barely gathered any coins, fell off the map, was hit by a ton of items. Still though, I made it to first by the third lap, and I just had to stay there. Luckily, I was able to hold it, and finish the race. Next is Neo Bowser City. 
This one was a joint killer for me. Lots of drifts and turns. It ended up being rough for me physically, but a breeze for me in the game. Final course of the cup, and one of my favorite courses, Makawuhu. This one's in segments, and for the first two segments, I crushed it. Then I saw there was a blue shell coming, and I slowed down to second to avoid it. However, I forgot to move out of the way, and the blue shell hit me, moving me all the way back to 7. I missed a lot of my items, but clutched triple shrooms at the last item box. And then, at the last possible second, I passed Toad, and the run continued! I swapped to Rosalina for the Crown Cup, starting with DK Jungle. Right before the third lap, after being in first for a while, we got Mario Karted, getting hit by a bullet bill, somehow, and knocked us into the grass, and we fell all the way down to 7. Throughout the third lap, we moved up until towards the end, we somehow got back to first. At this point, I was getting so stressed because I realized how much luck really plays into this. Next is Rosalina's home turf, her ice world. And I wasn't the best at this course. Getting hit by bombs and even falling off, we did dodge a blue shell by slowing down to second, and we also hit Daisy a few times for some extra Ludwig points. But she had revenge, and by the end of the third lap, it was Daisy and I neck and neck but we pulled ahead. Bowser's Castle was next, and there were a few close calls, but we still won the race. Next up, one of the best courses in the series, Rainbow Road 3DS. We crushed this course. Not a single mistake, and came in first pretty flawlessly. Now, we were halfway done with the courses, and we didn't have to worry about any more Ludwig challenges. My hands, though, were starting to hurt a bit from all the drifting, but I still continued for the next cup, starting with Luigi's Circuit 64. There was a me in this race for some reason, and we were pretty much in first the entire race. Had 10 coins, some banana and shell protection, we were feeling good. However, then... Mario sniped me with the green shell bouncing it off the wall right, and I mean right before the finish line. Now I get this brother rivalry. You took this beautiful run from me, Mario. Ah! Uh, spoilers, but there's a lot more attempts, so let's just speed through them a bit. Attempt six and seven. At least I think it's attempt six and seven. I always forgot to update the attempt number. They ended before they could even begin with the Queen Bee attempt losing after only three courses and the Peach attempt ending after only the second course because I got too cocky driving in the first person. Attempt eight started at the Leaf Cup and also only ended after two races. Attempt nine almost completed the Mushroom Cup, but a terrible Shy Guy Bazaar made us lose the run. Attempt 10 with Daisy... Yeah, didn't didn't make it past the first cup. Next, I ran out of ideas, so I played as myself to try to break this terrible streak. We finished two cups, got in the zone, got 37 Ludwig points, then we tried to take on the Mushroom Cup, and we lost. and I was starting to get really frustrated. Attempt 12 also ended in failure very quickly, I should add, and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna stick with my favorite character, Lakitu, and move on to the next attempt with attempt 13. And this was a hell of a run. We went through cup after cup, got the perfect amount of Ludwig points only halfway through, and after nearly an hour of my hands taking all the pain from drifting, I saw the course's completed number go up and up, cup after cup. We had done 26 courses out of the 32 and made it to the special cup. Bowser's Castle, last lap. We hung on to first for almost all of the last lap, and right before the finish, nothing happened. Yeah, no, we won. But at this point, my index finger was really hurting for over four hours of straight Mario Kart. Moving on to Rainbow Road 3DS. First place almost the whole time. Only one more cup after this one, and it was one of the easier cups. Past Section 2, we were still in first. Then, Section 3 happened. Section 3 is a section that, honestly, I think is one of the easiest of all sections. But there's something funny that can happen in Section 3. It's called Mario Kart. Yeah, Blue Shell hit us and caused us to fall off the map too. I tried to get back to first with Triple Reds, but couldn't make it. That's it for today. Wait, what's this? What's this? We're ranking alert. Oh no. Okay, what are we ranking? What are we ranking? Wait a minute, what's... Double rank. Oh, what are we ranking? Courses and characters? 
Okay, let's get the characters out of the way first. Metal Mario, me, Daisy, Toad, Mario, Peach, Honey Queen, Luigi, Rosalina, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Shy Guy, Troopa Koopa, Koopa Troopa, Bowser, Wiggler, Wario, Lakitu. Next up, courses. Mario Circuit 2 SNES, Toad Circuit, Cheap Cheap Lagoon, Luigi Raceway 64, Mario Circuit 3DS, Koopa Beach 64, Bowser's Castle 1 GBA, Rock Rock Mountain, Daisy Hills, Piranha Plant Pipeway, Daisy Cruiser GameCube, Luigi's Mansion DS, Rainbow Road SNES, DK Pass, Dino 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 Jungle, Neo Bowser City, Calamari Desert 64, Shy Guy Bazaar, DK Jungle, Bowser's Castle, Music Park, Wario Shipyard, Waluigi Pinball DS, Koopa Cape Wii, Maple Tree Way Wii, Airship Fortress DS, Mushroom Gorge Wii, Coconut Mall Wii, Rosalina Ice World, Maka Woohoo, Woohoo Loop, Rainbow Road. Whew. Okay. My reasoning for those is... You just got Coconut Mauled. Okay, new day, new attempt. And we did terrible on attempt 14. Like, I'm not even gonna show you it. It was that bad. But attempt 15 was one that felt like 13. We had the 77 Ludwig points, we were moving cup after cup, then Coconut Mall. On the third lap, we were trying to catch up to the damn Queen Bee, and the gap was getting smaller and smaller. We made it to the last section with the cars, and of course, stopping me in my tracks was... Sakurai?! You just got Coconut Mauled! Okay, let's move on. Attempt 16 barely made it past a few courses, and attempt 17 was promising as I switched to Yoshi, but after completing three cups, I got sniped and lost. Attempt 18, I swapped back to Lakitu, back to the cup I left off on, and lost again on the exact same course. We're not doing first person again. But then, attempt 19 happened. Starting on the Shell Cup again, we crushed course after course. After 10 courses, we gathered all the Ludwig points needed, only using the no item method. I also really tried to limit the blue shell shenanigans by dropping the second before they launched it, and it really helped me survive the courses. However, it wasn't perfect. I had some false starts here and there, but I noticed that any mistake I made early on mattered much less than later on in the race. On course 14, Music Park, I did so well, I didn't even use an item even though I was already at the goal for the Ludwig points. However, on the next course, my capture method for my 3DS started to disconnect me randomly, which was concerning, but luckily it didn't affect my performance as I kept getting first. Neo Bowser City was rough on the joints, but uh, my capture card disconnected again and it was not reconnecting for some reason. I still won Neo Bowser City and wanted to keep playing, so I played like this for a bit, still winning and finishing the cup up. After hours of trying to reconnect my capture method, it just wouldn't oh. connect and I had to wait to the next day. No, come on. I promise I'm not cheating. Anyways, next day and my capture method was working again and my hands were feeling good. We were 20 courses completed, three more cups to go, no more Ludwig points needed, although that won't stop me from getting more. Started with Calamari Desert, and we were just dominating. Even when a blue shell hit us towards the end of the third lap, we still won. I had probably done each course about 10 times at this point, and was really starting to get used to all of them. Next course at DK Pass, we fell off. We grabbed a blue shell though, which I'm pretty sure meant as long as I was holding it, nobody else could grab one. So once we got to first, we were set. And guess what? That blue shell was the only item I grabbed and I never used it. So, 11 more Ludwig points, baby. Almost to triple digits. We finished the cup out with two easy first places, no shenanigans. Koopa Cape and Dino Dino Jungle also proved to not be a big challenge. As I got to Airship Fortress, I approached my record and I felt like it was gonna end at any second. And at this point in the challenge, I felt like if I couldn't do it on this attempt, I may just give up. But we pulled through Airship Fortress and made it to one of the biggest run killers for me, which was Rainbow Road SNES. Where you can fall off the course at any time, I had to to play really carefully and precise and I managed not to fall off the entire time but I did hit a wall and on the third lap I was terrified of any blue shell that could show up but on the home stretch I hit the same wall again but we were ahead enough that it was fine and we had one cup to go the special cup the same cup that ended my previous high score. DK Jungle, I must have been feeling something because I didn't use items and I still crushed it 
Triple digit Ludwig points, baby. Let's go! Rosalina's Ice World had me nervous as we got hit by a blue shell near the end of the third lap. Queen B fell behind though, and we finished first. I also noticed a lot in this attempt that I made it a priority to collect as much coins as possible, and it really did help me stay consistently up front. Bowser's Castle, another toughie. We crushed. We got the turns. We got the boosts. And before I knew it, we finished the race. And without even meaning to, I didn't use a single item on this course, which means more loot weight. And now, we were at the final course. Rainbow Road yet again. Also ignore the courses completed, I forgot to change it constantly. And for this course guys, something came over me because I wanted to end this with a bang. First person, no items. Let's see how we did. Section 1, ended in second. Got hit by some lightning, gyro controls were starting to take over for a second, and right before section 3 began, we got hit by a blue shell. But. We took back first seconds later. The gliding section in first person was horrendous, and we still had not used an item. Although I totally would have if there was a shell coming for me. And just like that, we freaking did it. No items, first person. This is for you, Ludwig. Almost double the points Let's we needed, go. and we got first in every course in a row. I got to experience Mario Kart 7 in a whole new way, and now I appreciate some of the things it did a lot more particularly the amazing new Nitro courses and music. And honestly, the items were pretty balanced too. But for God's sake, don't use the first person controls. It forces gyro controls, even when you're also using the D-pad and it makes it so jittery. But yeah, Mario Kart 7 is a real simple and basic Mario Kart that's really just swimming in sevens, get it? And if it wasn't clear, this challenge is really just a warm-up for the eventual real challenge, which is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Iron Man, which has, uh, I don't know, almost triple the courses, 12 characters in a race instead of 8, more items, and Ludwig himself Ew. is in it.